here's just what I see by the by the dozens and what by 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 the daily dozens. Like this is just what I see all the time, consulting with with especially agents every single day. They'll boost a post. Like this, let's just say this was the one that you boosted. Let's say this was the one that you boosted. When I click on it and I come over here. Mistake number one is the fact that right here, Facebook lets me know if this website is tracking me. So they let me know by the pixel. So if you're going to be running Facebook ads to a website, you absolutely 1000% must have your Facebook pixel on it because that's how Facebook knows who lands here. Now you're running an ad, so you're clicking they know you're clicking for sure. Like Facebook can track the amount of clicks, but when people come here, Facebook can no longer track it because there's not a tracking code on it. It's called a Facebook pixel. Okay. So right here, there's no pixels found on this website. And mm. so the biggest, biggest problem with that is because here's the reality. Here's how Facebook ads work. And here's how we work as consumers. When we see an ad, we click on it we come over here. So let's say out of 10 people that actually did that, the real, real numbers are you're going to have, and I'll just be super conservative and I'll use seven out of every 10 people that land here, they saw your ad, they clicked 10 of them actually landed here. Mm -hmm. Seven of them are going to leave for whatever reason. For whatever reason, not for bad reasons, whatever reason, maybe someone was driving and they just couldn't type. Maybe someone yeah. was clicking and all of a sudden the food was burning in the kitchen and they had to you mm -hmm. know, get offline and they had to go real quick to save the beans. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, or maybe the right. kids were freaking right. screaming in the back seat and they're like, dang, let me do, let me do with this later. For yeah. whatever reason, many, many reasons, people will come to a website and just not fill it out. But there was for sure an interest. Like there was an interest. They saw it. They clicked. There, there's an interest for sure. But mm -hmm. seven out of ten, for whatever reason – left and that's what we call a bounce rate your bounce rate that's the amount of people that actually leave a website before filling out the form seven mm -hmm. out of ten <clears throat> seven out of ten for example the reason okay. why this facebook pixel is so important to be on your web page is because now facebook can track those seven people so yeah. those seven people are now what now inside of a bucket let's just call it a bucket facebook okay. calls it a custom audience but, but for, for this example, I'll just use, use it as the analogy, as, as a bucket. People who land here are in, are in one bucket. The people who fill out the form, they're in another bucket. Okay? That's a custom audience, the bucket. But the reason why that's so important is because as I run ads and as I get people over here, I want to be able to, to retarget, meaning run maybe a second ad, Mm -hmm. I want to be able to run a second ad to the seven people who landed here, but didn't fill out the form. Okay. Yeah. That's data. Thank like that. you're paying for that. Right. That right. Like sense. I need to know that kind of data. And, 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 and if all it takes is to put a piece of code, which is a bunch of letters and a bunch of numbers that Facebook gives you, everyone that has a Facebook account, they have that letter, they have that code, but you're going to take that code and paste it into your website. So Facebook can now start tracking it. Like, for example, let me show you, um, let me show you one of my websites. So here's, here's your website. You see this little square here at the top? It's, it's, it's shaded gray. Yes. Okay. So there's no pixel on this page. It's shaded gray. But if I come to one of my websites, for example, it's no longer shaded gray. It's blue. Oh, yeah. and, and then it's there's the number. the number three. So if I click on it, and let's say this was not my website, but I still have this, what, what Facebook calls a Facebook pixel helper. All this is a little, is a little plugin that stays at the top of my, my browser. And whenever I'm on anyone's website, this thing will light up or it won't. Hmm. But today in 2020 and beyond, if you're running Facebook ads, especially if you just have a random website, forget about running ads just yet. Most people that, that know at least something about marketing most people that know a little bit about something, and if they have a website, they for sure have their Facebook pixel on it, even mm -hmm. if they're not running ads at the, time, at, at the given moment. This pixel is how Facebook has so much data because most new websites today have this Facebook pixel wow. on it. 
and I would see that at the top of my website or uh, you, no, you would have to install what you, you, you can go to Google and you could just type in Facebook pixel helper and it's mm -hmm. a free little plugin, which just sits here at the top of your browser. It'll just sit here. It's free. And, and, and again, I don't, when I go to websites, I don't care who's tracking me. That doesn't matter. They, they don't know my number. They don't know my name. They don't, they don't know none of that. So I don't care who's tracking me. I really just have it so I can, so I can, so I can track my own stuff. Right. So when I, put up a website, I can know that my pixel is on it. I want to put, write that down. Face, yeah. Facebook pixel. Do I need that? Do I need to know that? Well, again, you only really need it to test your own websites. Right. So if you had it, you would have went to your website and you would have been like, Hey, wait a minute. My pixel's not on it. Right. Okay. Like you would have, you right. would have, if you even knew about pixels in the first place, you may not have right. known of pixels, but, no. but as you start to get more knowledgeable about Facebook ads, cause that's what I'm here for. I'm here to coach you and teach you the rest, the next few steps. Like this is step one. This is the most important because again, I want to know who's landing here. Now, again, Facebook's not going to give me name and number cause it's not a lead. They didn't fill out the form. So, right. so it's not like Facebook giving me that kind of data. Facebook's mm -hmm. just giving me the activity. They're just giving me the visit. They're just giving me the data, the fact that seven people did not opt in, but they landed here. And what Facebook's going to now allow us to do is start piling those people up, start filling up the bucket with wow. people who land here, but didn't fill it out. Now that right there is somewhat of a warm lead. They, right. It's not a lead yet, but it's a warm audience. It's a warm visitor. They saw your face. They saw yep. your ad. They clicked on it. They came to your website. Mm -hmm. Now this is not the, the way I, app. let me just tell you, this is not the way I do ads. Um, I have KV core. I'm sure you're familiar yes. with KV core. Okay. So then you can go, I can go into the list, my company's listings yeah. and pick one and then boost it. And that's what I did. And then the leads from it go to my KV core. Yes. So I got th three or four leads from it so far. But the pixel, you would have probably had five times that, am that amount if you had your Facebook pixel really? on it. Yeah. So I should go to my KV core and do that, I guess. You need to go to your KV core and install your Facebook pixel. Okay. And, and, and all you really need to do is email them, email the developer or the website person or whoever's in charge of that, of those pages, a simple email to them is, 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 is this, you would email them and simply ask them, say, Hey, how do I install my Facebook pixel on my pages? Okay. So that would be, I would be emailing KV core. Or yeah, yeah or they're the ones who deal with the settings. Sites. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever, do, whoever can, whoever really knows about the website. Okay. They'll, they'll, they'll direct you to where to where you install the pixel. Okay. And so again, that's so important because again, as, as I come to the landing page, I saw the ad. Mm -hmm. I now come to the first page, call it your KB core, call it e property sites, call it whatever. Mm -hmm. It's a landing page. It's the first okay. page. The moment I come here, I'm tracked because the Facebook pixel is tracking the moment I land here. Wow. But here's what's also super important. When that person opts in, so let's say, for example, they actually opt in. Let's, let's, let, me, let me take you through. Let's go through this. I'm going to just put in a okay. test. Okay. But here's, here's the very, very anti-spam. Please type the word. Okay, so here's, here's what's super, super important. Again, you would have captured five times the amount of leads if you just did what I'm about to show you right now and what I am showing you. What I'm showing you is step one is the pixel. That pixel needs to be on the page and it's not. Where it also has to be is on the next page. So as I come in and I put in my name and email, phone number and email, and I click on stay updated, I should have went to a second page. Mm. Now, the reason why that's so important, see, look, it doesn't take me anywhere. I should have went to a completely second page and on that second page, it would have been a completely different URL, right? Up here at the top, it would have been a completely different okay. URL. It could have been maybe 2605 infield drive, 213.eproperties.sites.com forward slash thank you. Mm, okay. Right? Because that's the second page. I yeah. opted in. 
Now I'm going to the second page and, and we can just call that a thank you page. That's the second page. It would have been a completely different site. It would have said something like, thank you, for example. Okay. The reason why that's so important is because that's a completely different page. It's the mm -hmm. second page. And so my pixel also needs to be on that page because now I'm able to tell Facebook, whoever lands on this URL, that is a lead. Mm -hmm. So now when I go into Facebook and I look at my analytics to see if my lead or see if my ads are really performing, it will show me the amount of leads that I got. And how do they know that? Because my pixel is on the page that they went to after they opted in. Mm. I have a Facebook, I mean, I guess everybody who does a post has a Facebook dashboard. Yes. So is that what you're talking about where yes. I would see it? Yes, over here in the dashboard, all the setup needs to be here. Not, not your, not, you shouldn't be doing anything on your cell phone like, so don't try to try to navigate through this on your cell phone, always come to a computer. And it's not even, it's not even the back end of your business page. Cause when you boost a post, a lot of the analytics you see from the business page, no, it's not the business page. We want to go into the ads manager. And the way you do that is you hit the logo right here to the top left. And then over here to the left-hand side, you'll click on see more uh -huh. and then you can click on ads. And you, again, you want to be doing this from a computer. So okay. you click on ads right there to the left, and it's going to bring you to the ads manager. This is where you want to be running your ads in the ads manager. I bookmark this page and then just come back, come back to this page whenever, you know, whenever you're running ads, but this is where the magic happens. This is the ads manager. So right up here, facebook.com forward slash ads manager. That's where you have to be running ads. See, I just do it through the KV Core when I run it. No. Yeah, the KV Core. You're not you're not creating custom audiences. You're not creating a custom conversion. You're not your pixels not on the page. So that's why you got lucky with the, with a couple of leads. If you were running it the right way, you would have been a, you would have been getting a couple of leads every day. Mm. Sometimes that's I do. Sometimes I do. You know, it just blows up with leads. This time I didn't. I don't know why. Maybe I don't yeah. know why it didn't blow up. Well, it's the, it's the reason why I'm telling you. The pixel, okay. the custom audiences, which is the bucket, putting these people in different buckets, different AKA custom audiences, but then also, most importantly, setting up a custom conversion. Because here's the deal. As I see your ad, and I'm going to use, I'm going to use my page. I'm going to use my page as an example. Um, let's go back to, let's go back to your page really quick. Um, let me go back to your business page. I'm going to, and this is kind of the last thing I got for you. Let me show you this last part. Um, yeah, let's I'm go need to, to write down steps what I need to do next. Well, actually, I'm recording it for you, so so don't worry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's go back to your business page really quick, and I'm I'm gonna use I'm gonna use my page as an my, as an example. Um, my landing page, my landing page. So let's see let's see this view from visitor. Okay, so look, here's the deal. As I, n number one is the Facebook pixel that needs to be on every page, the landing page, the thank you page, any page, any page, any website, that KV core, all the above your Facebook pixel needs to be on it. That's number one. And then we need to be creating custom audiences. And again, custom audiences are, it is data of people who are landing on specific pages. And then the third one, which I'm going to give you right now is a custom conversion. Here's how you really step up your lead capture by running the correct type of ad. Um, back over here in the ads manager, this is where it all starts, right? You click on the green button and then mm -hmm. it gives you these different options. This is where a lot of the times when you're in KV core, it'll default you to a certain one. Maybe it'll default you to engagement or it'll default you to traffic. Um, but the one you need to be running is conversions. That's for lead capture. So anyone who's looking to capture leads, show your ads to people most likely to take valuable actions, like making a purchase or adding payment info on your website, app, or in Messenger. And payment info could refer to name and email. 
So name, email, phone number, that's info. So if we're looking to capture info from people, it's conversions. But before we do that, here's what I'm going to show you. This is the third thing. Number one was the pixel. Number two was the custom audiences. And then number three, which I'm going to show you right now, is the custom conversion. Here's a custom conversion. Let's say, for example, this is our ad. Or let's just go down okay. to the condo. Let's say this is our ad. We're running a Facebook ad. We're seeing this in the news feed. And there's a learn more button right at the bottom because that's how all ads should read. You'll have a learn more button at the bottom of that image. So as I'm in my news feed and I'm just scrolling through, seeing what my friends are up to, seeing what everyone's posting, and then all of a sudden I come across, actually that's a different type of, of ad, that's just a video ad, but let's mm -hmm. see if I can find an image ad. As I'm scrolling through, scrolling through, and all of a sudden I come across, well here's another video ad, but this, this is a better example. Anytime you see the word sponsored, that's a Facebook ad. This ad was ran through the ads manager. And this is a conversions ad because I know, I know that guy. So I know for sure it's conversions. Um, but here's, here's my point. As people are scrolling through and they click on learn more. So mm -hmm. imagine this is the image of your listing. That's this right here. Now, all of a sudden, it's going to have a learn more button at the bottom. Okay? okay. So when I see your ad and I click on learn more, Here's where I'm going to go. And I'll just use this page as an example. Let's say this is the listing. And I'm pretty sure I showed this to you on the, on the other call, but now I'm going to get into more details. I see the ad. I click on learn more. And, I, and I'm taken to this one page. And again, my pixel is on it, right? Okay. So now Facebook is able to track that data. They're able to know, okay, X amount of people landed here. We're going to put all those people in a bucket. And now if you ever run another ad, you can target that bucket, right? Mm -hmm. so, so I come here, click on the yellow button, there's the lead capture. Now here's a custom conversion. Okay, so now we got this page, and then let me show you, let me bring it back up again. We have the landing page. This is page number one. They come here, they click the button, they enter their name and email, and then that takes them to the second page, look, so on your page, I entered my name and email and there was nothing there. But on my page, I enter my name and email and I'm taken to a completely different okay. page. So here's my okay. point. Here's a custom conversion. Oh, thank you for your interest. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the thank you uh, video. So they came, they came to the landing page. They came to the landing page. Uh -huh. They saw the ad. They saw the listing ad. They clicked. They come to the landing page. Then they come to the thank you for your interest. And this would be a video. This is what I always recommend for an agent to do. Hey guys, thank you so much. This is Christine. I am the listing agent of this beautiful property. I just wanted to personally introduce myself and give you some details of what we got coming up this week. We have a private showing tonight, right? That could be a literally, that could be a 60 second video mm -hmm. where you're thanking them, you're introducing yourself, you're giving them details about the property, and most importantly, you're telling them to click below to schedule a showing. Wow. Yeah. So, so, but here's my point on, on the third point, which is custom conversions. Here's how Facebook ads work, and that's this specific option right here. So again, I click the green button. It brings up these options, mm -hmm. and it's conversions. But before I do that, I have to let Facebook know about this link. I have two links. I have link to the landing page, just like you do. So if I click on this, I go to the first page. There is the link for the landing page. Okay. There's the link for the landing page, right? Oh, okay. So just like with my page, there's the link for the landing page. Okay. Here is the link for the thank you page. So after they opt in, they come to this page right here. Now here's a custom conversion. When you run Facebook ads, when you run them the right way, and I'm showing you exactly right here how to run them the right way, we're telling Facebook our objective is conversions. And what that really means is we're telling Facebook, we're not looking for people just to get here. Like when they see the listing and they click, yes, they're coming to my landing page. But what I'm really telling Facebook is I'm saying, hey, I'm not looking for people just to get here. I'm looking for people to get here. Okay. So I tell Facebook where here is. I tell Facebook about this link. Very specific. 
I tell Facebook, hey, I'm only willing to pay you if you can get me people here. And the only way people are going to get here is if they've gone through here. So that's your first landing page right there. This is the first landing page. They click learn more. They come to the landing page. Getting them here is my goal. But Facebook wants to know my ultimate goal. Mm -hmm. What's my ultimate goal? My ultimate goal is to get them to click the damn button, enter their name and email, and come here. Right. That's my ultimate goal. But you had to create that. I, I mean, had to create that. These I, websites I use don't do that. Yes, right? I had to create that. And that's why a lot of times with KB Core, I don't know if it's the same, but it used to be where they didn't even allow you to, to put your pixel on the page. They use their pixel. And, and, and if it is, if they do allow it now, I think you have to upgrade your account. Because I think you now have an upgrade where you pay a little bit more or whatever. I think that upgrade is what gives you the ability to put your pixel on the page. Oh, I don't know. Yes, yeah, yeah. so you may want to reach I out to them. I don't know that much about KV Core. I, I try to use it, but I'm not. And then, of course, the leads go right on to my CRM. Yes. Now, here's, here's the last part I got for you. That CRM is the most important. And that's where most people drop the ball. All most people are looking to do is run an ad, get a lead. And if they got four leads, okay, great, whatever. They'll try to call the lead if the lead even gave up a phone number. But if they don't even have a phone number, maybe they try emailing them to try to get an appointment. That's all a waste of time. And it's all physical time. It's all manual labor time. It's you having to lift a finger. That CRM needs to be an automated email autoresponder. So for example, I see your listing, I click, I come to your landing page, I enter my name and email. Right away, I need to receive an email about that listing, right away. They, they do get um, an email back, but it's generic. Yes, it's very generic. So in this email that goes out instantly, hey Dave, this is Christine. Hey, thank you so much for, for inquiring on 777 Plaza Boulevard. Let me tell you a little bit more, more about this property and let me tell you about our open house we have coming up Saturday and Sunday. You're not gonna wanna miss out. That's an email that would have went out instantly customized by you. But here's the deal. Tomorrow, another email is going out. Hey, Dave, this is Christine. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, I know you inquired yesterday on 777 Plaza Boulevard. Last night, we had an amazing showing. You have no idea how many people want this property. As we know, property is flying off the shelf. It's not going to last. So if you want to schedule a private showing, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you, Dave. Talk to you soon. Mm. A day later, another email better go out. Hey, Dave, this is Christine. Hey, I, want to, I just shot a video on my cell phone. Let me share this video with you. I did a little interior walkthrough of this property. So many people are inquiring, and it's not going to last. These are little simple emails that would be going out over the next 10 days. Mm. Now, guess what? Here's the deal. Let's say from and this you don't ad. Think that that's too much, that you're pushing them away by being too pushy? No, very, very, very good concern and very good question. I'm not being pushy. What I'm really doing is just educating them and asking them to schedule a call if they like to see it. So, okay. so each email is, is designed to educate them just to give them more details on the property. Maybe email number one, I send them the address and some photos. Maybe email number two, I'm talking about the neighborhood. Maybe email mm -hmm. number three, I'm sharing a video. Maybe email number four, I'm giving them history on the property. Maybe email number five, I'm telling them about our private showing that we had last night where 17 families showed up and this property is about to go into contract any day now. Mm -hmm. So okay. I'm just giving them pieces of what the deal is. I'm, I'm giving them, I'm sharing the process with them. But, but here's, here's the, the kicker. Let's say you ran this ad and had 50 leads or let's just say you had 20. Let's say you had freaking 10. Mm -hmm. If you got a few doing it half ass the way you did, I'm telling you, the way I'm showing you is how you really run it. You'd get five times more. So let's say we got five times more. Let's say we got 20 leads out of it all. Okay. Here's what's happening behind the scenes. We already know the, the property is only going to one family. Mm -hmm. So if I had 20 people in my CRM getting these automated emails over the next 10 days, that property is only going to one family. But the other nine, those are my leads. Right. I can continue to drip on them and show them other listings in the area and right. continue to nurture that list. That's right. where most people drop the ball. And that's why the million dollar question that I have for you right now, those four leads that you got, 
When's the last time you emailed them? I did yesterday. And you did couple, it, right? A couple of them, yeah. A couple you of did them. it. You mm-hmm. did it. Right. If we can have that in an automated drip system where I don't have to do a damn thing and they're getting information, the best information, and it's all automated, that's how you have to be, be looking at this. This entire thing, once you start running Facebook ads the right way to the right landing page with the right CRM, the entire thing, one, well, 99.999% of it is automated. Mm-hmm. The only thing that Chris, Christine has to do is drop an ad whether that's an image or a video, but that would be your only, only responsibility. And I would always recommend doing it weekly. A new ad goes up every week, yeah. every Monday, call it every Monday, every Monday, Christine's coming out with a new ad. Mm-hmm. Now, now not every week you're going to have a listing. So what I always consult and recommend is that you figure out what market you want. Do we want to do we want to go after listings or do we want to go after buyers? Although I you can do it all. After, I want to go after listings because I get okay. so many buyers from. So like, so so here here here's what here's the strategy for you then. It's very very simple. It's a weekly Facebook ad, and every week we're not going to have a listing to promote. So mm-hmm. the other weeks we're running ads on giving out your free seller guide. Okay. All you're doing is promoting a seller guide. Right. Instead of price reduced, it's download your free seller guide. Seven tips to increase in the value of your property before you decide to sell. Download now. Okay. So now you just start running ads to, to Austin to get people to download your seller guide and now get those people into an automated email sequence where now people are downloading your seller guide every single day and automated emails are going out every single day. And these emails, again, two things. Number one, the objective in the emails is to educate them on the process of selling. Or maybe you have a seven-page seller guide, a five-page seller guide, a 10-page seller guide. Those emails would all be designed around the seller guide. So for example, if I, and here's a seller guide page, a quick example of a seller guide page. So if I saw your ad and you were giving out a seller guide, I click on it. I come straight to this page, download your free step-by-step guide to selling your home fast. I'll walk you through the process and explain how we customize our plan to fit you. Download your download, download seller guide here. I click there. I enter my name and email, send me your free guide now. Mm. So here's what happens automatically, instantly an email goes out. Hey Dave, this is Christine. Hey, thank you so much for downloading my, downloading my 2020 seller guide. In this seller guide, you're going to learn the top seven strategies and tips that I consult homeowners on every single day when it comes to selling their property. We're going to talk about the difference between selling your, your home on your own versus hiring an agent. We're going to talk about roof. We're going to talk about curb appeal. We're going to talk about renovating your kitchen and how much value that brings. I'm going to give you everything in and out on what it takes to sell today. Thank you so much. Click here to download your copy. That would be somewhat of an email that went out right away. But uh-huh. tomorrow, another email goes out. Hey, Dave, this is Christine. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, I know yesterday you downloaded my, my free 2020 seller guide, your ultimate guide to selling your home fast. Hey, do you remember on page three when I was talking about curb appeal and how landscaping and making sure your trees are trimmed, making sure all this stuff looks good, brings value to the home? Here's what I meant by it. Mm-hmm. And so all I would do is I would take whatever that seller guide consists of and I would break it up in short form emails over the next 10 emails. Okay. So all I'm doing now is educating them even more on the process of selling. That's number one. Objective number one is to educate them via email. Objective number two is in each email, there's a link to my calendar. So going back to your question earlier, is that too much? You know, is that too aggressive? No, because we're not approaching it that way. We're being non-aggressive. I'm actually educating you. I'm actually educating you on the process. I'm educating you on what you downloaded. Mm-hmm. And, I'm, I, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm nonchalantly and I'm casually and I'm non-aggressive asking you to schedule a call. Hey, Chris, hey Dave, and by the way, if you'd like to jump on a call where I give you all of my secret strategies, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. Okay. So it's like, it's like, it's like telling it to a friend, mm-hmm. you know? So, but at the same time, it's these emails that are nurturing these leads that you're actually paying for from a Facebook ad. Mm-hmm. 
people will boost a post, get five leads, and never follow up again. And, and, yeah. and if you are following up, it's you physically, manually trying to do it yourself, trying to email them, maybe, maybe calling them if they have a phone number, if they left a phone number. But no, I need to automate all that, and I need those numbers every day. I can't just boost a post, get five leads, and then forget about it. I need five leads every day. Mm-hmm. And, and I need this email automation working and leveraging. I need to be leveraging it every day. Because if I can fill up the CRM and if I can fill up the email autoresponder with leads that are coming in all from Austin and these emails are going out to people who are downloading my seller guide. And that's another thing, very non-aggressive approach. I'm giving you something. Right. So it's not like I'm just throwing up on you. Hey, hire me. I'll sell your, I'll list it tonight and have it sold by tomorrow. No, you're not bragging like every agent out there does. And they try to sell themselves on everything. No, it's like, I'm actually giving you something. I'm give, I want you to have this for free. Mm-hmm. In, in exchange for your name and email, obviously, because I have to email it to you. Mm-hmm. So it's starting right. off the friendship and the nurturing by me just simply humbly giving you something of value. And because mm-hmm. you're interested in it, you download it. You may be looking to sell now. You may be looking to sell in two years. I don't know, but the heck, you, but, but you downloaded it. And mm-hmm. you happen to live in my neighborhood because that's where I'm targeting. Right. right. It's not just some random person on your Facebook friend list who lives in Florida and they just downloaded your seller guide because they were interested in selling. It's like, dude, uh, right. What's that? That ain't going to do nothing for me. So right. targeting really Austin. Local. Yeah, we need local. We need local. And again, mm-hmm. there's only so much thing you can do offline. It, it, it has to happen today with, with a Facebook ad, you know, so that's kind of that's kind of your next step is 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 just learning how to run these Facebook ads, you know, the, the right way. And figure out how to get that pixel thing with the different websites. Right? Yes, that that that's the most important. That's the most important. That and that's the first. That's the first email that you should send right away. Once we're done here, we you need to email email. I don't know if you need to email EXP or if you email KB Core. Email someone that has something to do with the website and just say, hey, can I add my Facebook pixel to my pages? Okay. That's the only question. Like that's the only question. And they're going to say yes or no. Okay. And if it's no, then we need a completely different software. If you're going to be running Facebook ads. Okay. I only recommend software. Like I pay a hundred bucks a month for this software, but, but it comes with all these landing pages. Like I can, I can create as many landing pages as I want, like open house, like a seller guide, a listing. Like I can create as many landing pages as I want. Um, it also comes with my, my email autoresponder. Having a CRM is one thing, but I need emails to automatically drip. And so, well, it does that. Okay. But so. it does that. And I, but I don't really know how to, uh, as a matter of fact, somebody in our company, he's not in our company anymore. He started his own company. Um, but he set up the, the drip emails for me. Good. Those, but I, and they, they scare me. I'll be honest with you. They scare me because I don't, wanna, I don't want to harass. Yes. Harass you got to go back in there. You got to go in there and you got to edit those emails. They have to come from you. Okay. They have and they, to come from you. It also um, has landing page. It's got the capability of doing landing pages and stuff, but unfortunately I don't know that much about it. Okay. So I need to figure it out, I guess. Well, number one, again, all this, all this, Christine, I don't want to overwhelm you or, or, or overcomplicate all this stuff. All this is for is if we're running, if we're planning on building a business on social media, I'm just saying the best way to do it is through Facebook advertising. So okay. if that's, if, if we say yes to that, then yeah, mm-hmm. learning this back end part is going to be the most important. Okay. It's going to be the most important. Um, and that's the first question you want to ask them. Can I add my Facebook pixel to my pages? That's the, that's the million dollar question. Um, okay. I think you should find out that answer and then, and then get back with me. Cause what I can do is I can help you with a lot of that. But what I really want to do is I want to teach you Facebook ads. That's okay. what I want to teach you to do. I want to, I want to, I want to teach you how to, how to come in here to the ads manager and run these ads the right way. Okay. That's what I really want to do. Um, well, because- I'll check on the pixel thing right away. Yes. And, uh, and then, um, yeah, I'm still working with LinkedIn because I couldn't get my website name on as the URL on, um, LinkedIn. I had to leave out the S this, they're working with me trying to fix it. Okay. Okay. So, so 
that that's one thing but but follow up with kb core first and then let's if if you find out that answer today let's let's chat tomorrow like go back to my calendar you can pull up that link from the email from last week and you can you can click that link again it'll take you straight to my calendar and okay. let's let's chat again really really soon like i need to like let's jump back on tomorrow or, or whatever. Yeah. Like you know, I may not be able to tomorrow or Wednesday, uh, whatever is best for you. It may, yeah, it may. Uh, we have a trip planned, okay. and our friends from out of town are coming in tomorrow, and then we're all going on this trip together, awesome. and we'll be back till Saturday. Awesome. But I will okay. try to at least get those answers and let you know. You know, today I'm going to do those emails Perfect. and let you know um, whether or not they'll let me do that. Perfect. And then we could meet next Monday if that works. For no, you. that's perfect. That's perfect. If you can just drop, just whenever you get a minute sometime this week, just make sure you just schedule it, schedule it. You don't have to do it today, but just maybe sometime later on this week, make sure you schedule okay. Monday just so we, right. we have a time on the calendar. Sounds good. Okay. All right, Christine, thank you I'll so much. God bless you. Thanks. I'll talk to you, you soon. Have a great week, David. Yes, you too. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. You too. Bye-bye.